need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can fill in the selections and layers that you create with colors, gradients, and patterns. You can also stroke the selections that you make, which applies a colored border to the edge of the selection. One of the most common fills that you can perform is a fill of the currently selected background or foreground colors into the selection. To do this, just select the desired background and foreground colors that you want to use for your fill colors. We've already made some choices. Then use one of your selection tools to select the area which you want to fill. If you don't make a selection, you'll instead fill the entire selected layer. So we'll go in and select our quick selection tool and we'll use that to select our orange flower. Then go to edit and fill from the menu bar. This provides you with the options for creating a fill in the fill dialog box. In this dialog box, you can select what you want to use for the fill from the Use drop-down. You can select the background or foreground color. You can also select the color option, which launches the color picker dialog box, where you can select a new color to use for the fill if you want. You can also select a pattern or a history state, like the history brush tool that we looked at. You could also select black, white, or even 50% gray and we'll use the background color that we have selected. Then in the blending section, choose one of the various blending modes available for the fill. In this case, we're going to stick with linear light. And you can also change the opacity of that fill, if you like, down here in that text box. When you're ready, just click OK, and you'll see what that does to our selection. Now version CS5 introduced content-aware fills, and if you select it from the drop-down, Photoshop will replace the selection area with similar image content nearby the selection, which matches lighting, tone, and noise. Let's look at a different image here. Let's say in this image that we want to replace some of this area in the upper left-hand corner where the camera picked up something we didn't really want. In this case, we'll go ahead and we'll select a different selection tool. We'll use the rectangular marquee tool. And we will make our selection. And then we're going to go to Edit and Fill from the menu bar. In this case, in the Use dropdown, we're going to select Content Aware. And instead of Linear Light, we're going to click Normal and then click OK. And you'll see that when you do that, Photoshop will replace that content with content nearby. So it really does a nice job of grabbing some of the content nearby and replacing your selection. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.